Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this reception area over here. So let's continue it. So very first of all, what I'll be modeling over here is like, I'll be modeling this lights over here. So for that, let's go into the spline. Take a line over here. I'll just take a line till here. Again, I'll go into this rendering. Enable in viewport. I'll slightly just shuffle this over here. Go to the top view. Let's take a cone over here. So I'll take a cone over here. So create a cone. So let's shuffle this a bit up. So increase its radius and increase its height. So slightly I'll reduce this and let's give a taper modifier. So let's just add a taper modifier. Again I will go into this cone. I'll reduce this in this way. So again I'll slightly just select this. I'll push this inside. Again I'll go into the cone. I'll reduce this cone. Shuffle this up. Push this. And now take a spear. So take a spear over here. Now into that, convert to editable poly. Go to the front view. Select this polygon still here and let's delete this. Select this all three and let's again duplicate it over here. So we can make the copies of it. Shuffle it inside. After that, <coughs> let's again take a cylinder over here. So take a cylinder. Activate the auto grid. Increase its height. Reduce the height segments. Convert to editable poly. Select the polygons. Insert it. And I'll slightly just push this up. Again go over here. Duplicate it. And make a few copies over here. So just save your file. After that we have few details again over here. I'll again take a box over here. I'll activate this. I'll just create something over here. Keep it in this way. Select this. Convert to editable poly. Select this edges. I'll give one connect over here. I'll slightly just push this. Let's give two connects. Shuffle this a bit up over here. 
So select the polygons, slightly just extrude it, click OK. So for this monitor part, we'll just create a, a rectangle. Convert to editable poly, select this edges, let's give two connects, shuffle this, so before that I'll again give one connect over here. Slightly just push this down. Let's give a bit of bevel. Again, select this edges. Again, give two connects. Select the polygons, slightly I'll just bevel it, again select this edges, give one connect, so select the polygons and extrude it, so it's barely visible, so I'll just uh, and isolate this from this way push this down Slightly, I can just scale it if required. Again, duplicate it one more. Okay, I think that is chair or monitor. Not clear. I think it's a chair. It's not monitor. So chair we can easily create it. So for that I can again go over here. Let's again take a line tool from here. That's a Go over here, rectangular, increase its length and width, so select the width, so convert to editable poly, so again select this ring it and let's give one connect over here select the edges and let's give few connects so we'll do some some minor changes over here so let's just slightly bevel it select this, select this edges, and isolate this, and let's just give a turbo smooth over here, so this is not clearly visible, so 
we'll keep it in this way so if you have any kind of visibility of camera then you can create the bottom part that can be easily created so if it is a static then it is hidden it's not visible so if you are creating it then it will going to take a longer time to render also so it's better what we do is like we keep it as it is slightly scale it push this up so save your file again a few details let's just go over here activate the auto grid so just give a color to it press shift and drag make a duplicate of it after that Okay, we have three lamps. Oh, sorry, three lights. I'll slightly just still I'll shuffle this a bit up if needed. So again, select this. and make a copy so we need at least three copies so save it again so right now what is whatever is visible that's what i'm creating i'll just convert to poly i'll again go into this and i can slightly just make it more straight all right so let's just end isolate it so i'll go again into this view slightly will just make it more straighter and keep it in this way. all right and also if you want i can slightly just shuffle this a bit up over here in this way take again a box over here covering this whole area so shift this up over here so we can do the details definitely we are going to create this wall and this a bit of this area the couch is left all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial